Hi guys, Rhonda Winstead here. Um, okay, I have been going to do this video for some time, but I've had to catch up and do other things first. And now I'm ready, I think, uh, to do the envelope art that I have promised and I, I've just got laying down here just some yummy stuff for us to look at for just a minute and I hope that you are feeling good I hope you're doing amazingly today whenever it is that you're watching this video I have a little bit of a the sniffles from sinus issues but uh, and a little bit of a cough, but other than that, I'm great. So, okay. So this is what I want to show you. And we're going to build one or two uh, envelopes, decorate. Uh, just, just for fun, you know. Just for something else to add to your journals or for Happy Mail. Uh you know, RAKs, whatever it is that you want to do to send out to those that you love and care about. Okay, so let's just kind of go through a little bit and then we'll uh, pull out some envelopes and get busy. So what I have done here, I have cut the envelope apart when I was working on it and then stitched the back on after I was done so that it has this smooth finish and you don't see you know all of the ins and outs of work here but let me show you a bunch of the layers so here you can see that I have highlighted the um, oh the machine you know that the that prints these out when you mail something that you have all of these. I thought that was interesting, so I added that. I've got some uh, fabric that has been printed on. I've got some lace here. I've got, this is glassine paper here. I've got more lace. I've got lace here. This is all old antique lace that I have been hoarding. <laughs> Yes, yes. And here are some stamps. Here is an address of mine. If you mail something there, I'm not there anymore. So, you know, it's not a good address. So don't worry about that. And I have uh, made flowers, um, put buttons on. I have embroidered my green leaves and stems. I've added a little dragonfly stitched around. There's a lot going on, but it comes together beautifully. And it makes, I think, a gorgeous altered art piece, an envelope. Okay, set that aside. This was another one. These two were done uh, close to the same time. This what you can tell with the flowers and the buttons then and uh, the embroidery on here that that is very similar. But I have made it so you can see through to this, uh, I don't even know what you call them, a scanning image or something from the mail. And here you can see the stamp from the mail and it has this heart on it and I've covered it with just lightly with cheesecloth so you can see through this one. <clears throat> Excuse me. I've covered up the address and I've put on here some of the chenille from a bedspread. This is a green little uh, a trim. Um, just added some little bits of uh, handkerchief. You know, they, the old handkerchiefs have this wonderful, wonderful linen, very fine lawn and, and linen and just very delicate. And a lot of them are not in good shape, but you can take parts. And that's what I've done here is taken a couple of parts and you can still see through to the address here. And I, I just think this is very sweet. I love it. 
and you can see I had already done this and obviously I decided it needed this green trim on after I had stitched it back together and that's why you see that but I'm fine with that okay let's see now this is a newer one this is a more recent one and I have uh, I'm Rhonda without an H on Etsy um, and I do have a digital of my parents' uh, communication during World War II. My dad and my mom were dating during that time and got married uh, while daddy was in the war. And, and anyway, so I have included, I've scanned some of their letters and a lot of the envelopes and things from World War II. From, they're just really... I find they're fascinating and I wanted to share those with you if you didn't have something uh, you know it doesn't matter whatever you've got will be great but that's just an option for you that I'll mention to you and this is many of these are included in that but obviously um, these addresses you know from the 1940s are are not good anymore but I've taken some stickers I've added, and, and this I didn't do anything with. It was upside down. It's like, oh, well, there you go. And an address kept that and added little bits and pieces. Now this I added, I think I showed you these as well. Just playing around one day, I was doing a little bit of drawing, painting, and, and <laughs> my very... Um, <laughs> simple <laughs> simple style and I just I created some houses and flowers just things that are very simple but that might be really cute on a piece of of uh, envelope for envelope art that you might want to do so those are just some fun things and I just drew stick figures I just uh, you know I, I'm no great shakes at anything that way don't claim to be but uh, it was just kind of fun to do a few little things like that and then what I did and this is just muslin and what I did was then I frayed all the way around it so it gives it that fun little bit of texture that you can stitch on or glue on afterwards like for instance here you've got that texture going on right and then this I did embroider this these others that I showed you, I painted these, but you can embroider, you can paint, you can color, you could use a stamp if you don't feel confident at drawing stick figures or anything like that. That's okay. Just use a stamp that you like and color in and then do, you know, fray around the edges and you'll get the same effect. Okay, so just a few little things have been added here. Not nearly as much as on the two previous envelopes that I showed you, but I think it's very sweet. And then what I've done here is I've turned this one into a pocket. Okay, so this can go in your journal. It could go as Happy Mail. It can go as whatever, you know, you would want it for. Okay, now here is another one, and this also is included in, in uh, my digital, but the original, the original of this I have in my journal, and I took copies of this because I just thought it was so cute, and it has been eaten away by a mouse, I'm assuming, through the years. And uh, so I included that. I, you know, that gives it the character. This was in 1942. My dad was a private at this time, and he's writing to my mom, who's living in Idaho Falls at the time. So that was just kind of a fun thing. Create a little pocket, create, you know, for whatever a person might want to do that way. And then, and then she said... <laughs> And this one, here's the envelope that I have taken and opened it up, as you can see. And this one, I put a book page in. And many of you know that I sell these book pages that I do. I 
take old book pages and I cover them with either deli paper or tracing paper or some thin type of paper and stitch around. And then that creates so you can write over that. And it just makes a nice, it's just a nice addition. And so I have done that with this. So you've got, you know, a journaling spot here. And then you've also got this fun little house that I've added. And I just did very, very little here. Most of this was on the envelope itself. I just added the house. I added this card, flower card, and a little bit of background here. And some glassing. I just think it's really sweet. Okay. And then... The last one that I'm going to show you that I've created newly, or <laughs> anyway, recently, is this one. And this is, do, 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 this is this one, okay? Um, and this is before I had done this, because on the original, this is, I've embroidered these flowers, but then I just drew the stems and uh, the leaves on there. But if you can see from the same envelope, you can do different things. So as you look at this and this, they look completely different to me. So this one I did as a fun little opening. I gave it a, a little bit of a small spine and I thought, wouldn't this be fun to include with your, you know, in your journal somewhere or in some happy mail that you're sending to somebody special. Just, I mean, just for fun and did, a, you know, a little bit of a, a notepad there. So you've got writing that you can do. You can brew a fresh cup of herb tea. And then here's the back that's just kind of grungy and yummy. <laughs> I like it. I, I think it's, I love it. I think it's wonderful. Okay, so let's see. Let's set those aside. And I will just show you a few more that I have done in the past. Um, sometimes you can just get super elaborate. And this was one of those where I just went to town. And this page has been doctored up with, oh, stamping and flowers and stamps and images and fabric and a little bit of lace and some washi tape and ribbon and yeah all kinds of fun fun things so you can get wild and crazy if you want and this was a, a postcard that I made from a large envelope you can see that and I did like I had done previously I took off the front and the back and then did my collaging and I just I just think this is super fun this was just just a fun it's not normally something that I do a lot of but it was just it was fun and then stitched it back together and then I have a couple more that I have done these are with the legal size envelopes and you can see the stamping that comes you know, with the post office, and there again, that's an old address. And then I've included here, this one was a fall, um, as you can tell, with different laces, cheesecloth, fabric, stamps, and then, of course, the back is just plain. And then this is the last one, and this is probably, this would be more shabby chic, and this is more highly decorated. Um, just because shabby chic is just kind of that fun, you know, add all those yummy yummies. And so I've got glassine here. I've got cheesecloth. I've got different vintage laces, different, uh, cutouts, different images, fabric, stitching. This is part of a handkerchief. This is piano paper. Um, this is diary uh, a diary, just, you know, some fun things. And then what I've done on the back on this one, I've created a pocket and I have 
um, rubbed this and crinkled it and smoothed it out so that it really has this aged fun look to it so anyway guys that is this is what I've got so far and I thought we would just play and we would make an envelope or two and see if you guys enjoy the process, if you like it, um, and see what kinds of things that you will come up with. I would love to see what you might come up with um, on my Instagram. If you would go there, you can you do a hashtag envelope, altered envelope altered envelope hashtag altered envelope or hashtag me um, I'd love to see what what you do okay let me pull out some things I've got some things to work with just one sec I've got stuff in different places here and I have done a little bit of work ahead of time because I didn't want to spend our time together with doing a lot of inking. <laughs> inking papers and, and that kind of thing. Okay, so let me clear this off just a little bit. Let's come up with an envelope that we want to use. Now these are all these are all included. Like I said, this is all from my uh, digital uh, download if you're interested in in that at all but it's certainly not a, a thing to be stressed about and then these are parts of letters from my dad to my mother um, and after they were married in 1945 and mom had a baby and and they're planning and addresses and where to send invitations to and all kinds of fun stuff. Okay, so let's pick an envelope. Now these are just plain old, you know, this is nothing fancy. This is years ago, 1993. These addresses aren't even good anymore. Um, this is one that uh, my niece sent to my grandma. Uh, when she lived there, of course, and my mother's passed, and I put some uh, gesso on this, clear gesso. If you want to do a lot of, say if you want to do some embroidery work on your paper, if you put a layer of clear gesso and let that dry, that will help your paper become more supple so that the needle and you know the going down and up and down and up with your embroidery floss it won't have as uh, much tendency to rip or tear just a little side note for you okay and then this is something that I just pulled out this is an envelope that my grandmother had sent the letter to daddy to and you can see how you know it was all torn and and beat up I'm in the process of kind of fixing that a little bit and uh, but I don't know let's 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 not use that <laughs> let's do something that will just be kind of fun and simple and easy Let's get something with two parts, with the bottom and the top. Okay, and this, I mean, I included these two. These are, these are copies of my real stuff. It's what they look like, you know, when, when they're put together. I mean, they're, they're very cool. This is a nice one. Um, is that the same one? No. It's not. We have different things here, different stamps. 
This is from mom to daddy. So let's see. Let's do this one. This is from daddy, Private R. Benson to Miss Gwen Pack in Idaho Falls, Idaho. Okay. So I did want to also, guys, I want to catch you up, update you with everything that's going on with my my cancer journey. Um, I am feeling really, really good right now. I'm feeling so, so blessed. And I, I mean, I just have no complaints. I, I suppose I could, but why? <laughs> why would I complain about anything? Quite honestly, it's like I've just been so, so blessed. Okay, now let's take a look. Now there's, look at this little purple flag. Now this, this could go well with this. What do you think? Let's save that. Let's just get us a fun little image there. That could be cute too, but I think I want to stick with the purple. And I had ripped around these. These were just fun. Uh, let's see. No, no, no. Okay, okay. We'll go with this. So I want to do just a little bit of layering. Um, and you decide what it is that you want your envelope to be. Is it going to be a pocket in a journal? Is it going to be a, a tuck spot? Is it going to be a journaling card? You have to kind of, that will help you uh, decide what direction that you want to go with it. Um, I could do a journaling spot. I'm going to make this a pocket. So it's going to be like this and then I will likely do a little notch here, a little circle notch and this can go nicely in a journal and it can fit something in here and even behind. I could put tags or journal cards in here or, or um, papers, you know, folded up as well for journaling. So either one of those would be great. Okay, so I want to have some lace. I want to, I have pulled from some of my, uh, you really just, you know, when, when you alter and you, you use your linens and whatnot, you, you really don't get rid of things. You, that's maybe a little... Um, that's not quite see-through enough. Let's, I've got this. This is also really fun. That could be really cute. Let's keep that out. That's a definite possibility that we could use that. Um, so let me share with you and I'll just work along. If you have any questions, please put them in the uh, description box below and I will answer any and all questions. You guys are have been so amazing and I just, I can't even begin to tell you how grateful I am for you. It just, to say I'm grateful, it just seems so small, you know, but it, it feels so big. It just, it feels so big. Thank you. Um, I think I might save that for another something or other. Here's a nice piece. And I, I, I mean, I absolutely love vintage handkerchiefs. And I have a lot. And some I just, you know, I, I just hoard and I can't cut into them for a long time. See how it's so fun when you can really get the see-through so you see things coming from behind there as well. 
as we're thinking of layering. That's really beautiful. I'll set that aside, keeping in mind this is really small and it really doesn't need much. Just a little touch of something. And let's see, this color, the green would go nicely. It matches my green there. So let's let's grab this and let's just do a little bit of ripping. We will. It's just fun to work with fabrics and papers and I just I love mixed media art you guys. Don't you enjoy just just creating and just seeing what you can come up with? I might just trim that and see we maybe will find a place for that by itself just as pretty as it is. Okay, so I went to my last knock on wood <laughs> I, at least for now my last chemo treatment la Tuesday last Tuesday on the 12th I went on the 12th and I met with my doctor before that's kind of cool okay and he went over the results of the, the PET scan, the more recent PET scan, and was very, very pleased with the results. He said the chemo had been uh, doing its job, that some things were, were smaller and uh, minimized, and it, nothing was... Nothing was worse. Everything was better than what it had been. Let's see. Let's, let me just kind of fabric. Sometimes it's hard to rip off these little bits and pieces. Okay. And I and I don't throw those away. I put them in a in a container and down the road I will make uh, more fabric more you know kind of artsy <laughs> artsy stuff okay so let's see what we've got here got a little bit of this little bit of that I like <coughs> excuse me I kind of like this <coughs> what do you think Shall we give that a try? And if we do, do we want to cover the whole thing? Ah, do, do, do. Do we, do we, do we? Well, I don't know. Let's do that and let's put it on here and we'll play with it a little bit and see if that's going to work and this one seriously you guys this is not going to need much much of anything that's kind of cool um, so when I'm doing things like this I absolutely love to mix paper and fabric together I prefer to do both um, if I can I just think it makes your pieces more interesting let's see what we've got here I've got all kinds of you know little little bits and pieces and these are parts of these are actually parts of letters that I have um, printed out on tracing paper so it gives it kind of a see-through quality that's kind of a cool kind of cool and we've got some 
could do something like this. We could bring in this. We've got to make sure we got this. Now, one thing I don't like is I don't want to cover that up. So I know that at least, let's see, would I like it better? So we just kind of, you know, we just play with it. We just, we just try. We just put something here, put something there, take a look at it, back away, come back, take a look at it again. Okay. So what I'm thinking is, I don't want this straight line. For some reason, that's bugging me. So I don't want that. But I don't want to cover this other spot. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of come from a little bit and we'll just try this. I mean, what's the worst that can happen is I look at it and I say, no, I don't like it. And then it's like, oh, okay, do something different. <laughs> do something different then. Okay. Now, by itself, I don't particularly care for that. But with adding some additional little things, then that can be really fun. And in fact, we may want to do something like that. Okay. So, um, okay, let's see, where was I? <laughs> I get, I get sidetracked, you guys. <laughs> I get sidetracked, I'm sorry. Um, anyway, he, the doctor is very happy with what's going on with me. He does not want, at this time, there's no uh, breast surgery in the cards. And there is um, no radiation. What, what the plan is now... Let's see. I think I'm going to want to do this. Let's just kind of. So beginning November 2nd, I will be going uh, to the cancer center and I will be having uh, infusions for the HER2 positive and the estrogen. Uh, those are cancer drugs, but they are not, they're not a chemo. It's not a, a chemo drug. And I will be having an infusion every three weeks of that And yeah, and that will just be kind of, that'll be the game plan. He said, it may be forever. Uh, you know, we don't know. We just kind of see how it goes. But I'm, I'm super grateful. I'm super excited. I'm, I'm just, you know, I'm just thankful, you guys. And I do, I know, I know, I just, it's like enough, 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 but no, it's not enough, enough, enough. I just am so grateful for you. You are, you just make my day happy. <laughs> I love having purpose and meaning coming into my studio to do something that hopefully will be enjoyable to someone else and and I love to share my thoughts and ideas I've been golly my whole adult life I've taught classes of how to do 
many, many, many different things through the years. And it's just been really a blessing, been really enjoyable. Okay. Okay, this is coming together. I'm kind of starting to like this now. And then, of course, if you don't have a sewing machine or that's not your thing, then you, of course, would glue everything with a nice uh, sturdy glue that you feel confident with. But if you want to try something different or you want to, you know, challenge yourself, like, I'm going to do it, then, yeah, go for it. Do some stitching on here, guys. It's kind of fun. All right, now let's take a look and see where we're at. And see what we need to still work on. Okay, now I'm happy with this now, and I really do like having this kind of come up over. Okay, so, and I, I do like this down here. This little bit of of uh, lace in the corner. Let's see. Now, I have to decide whether I, if this is too much, or do I want that on the outside? This is where we just kind of have to, we just kind of have to look and play and see. Now, Hmm. Okay. Pull that in a little bit more so you can see a little bit better. Um. Ba, 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 ba. What do you think? What do we need? What do we need? We need. I'm not. I'm not like blown away with this yet. Now maybe, maybe, maybe this needs to be not quite so wide and we can do this. You know, there's something for me that has been really therapeutic in going through these images and and just I don't know it's just it's just cool this is my this is my history and the reality is is that the letters they sit in a box and like my grandkids and whatnot they don't they everything is like online you know on their phones and and they have access to lots of wonderful you know wonderful things that way and and they're just generally not going to sit and and want to read a bunch of old letters so okay Okay, guys, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to do a little bit of gluing down and I'm going to do a little bit of stitching and I will be back. Okay, I really like what I've got down so far. I have stitched, you can see if you look at the back, I've stitched a bunch to get everything down on. And I've used my stitching also to give added texture and interest. And so that's always a fun thing. Now when I'm stitching something on, you'll notice that my stitches are crookedy. Well, I do that deliberately to kind of mirror the torn uh, paper, whatever that is, just because I think it looks more interesting. Okay. So now let's take a peek see. I've got a couple of ideas here that I want to maybe finish out with. Um, I do like this. And what I I went and I grabbed some some purple little rickrack 
that I could add. I could put that here, you know, to bring out a little bit more of the purple. So, mm -hmm. or here's another thing that I pulled out. A little bit of trim here. And let's take a peek, see at that and see what we think. And if that might be a good option. Oh, I love that. Oh, I love that. It doesn't, it still makes the flower shine. It's subtle, but it's very, I, I love that. Mm-hmm, okay. I like that better. And then, and then she said, I pulled out one of Barbara's uh, butterflies from 49 Dragonflies. Is that just pretty? You guys, this is, oh, oh, I could go there too. Oh, 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 okay. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to glue and stitch. Let's see, how do I want to do this? Gluing, gluing, gluing. Well, I'm going to glue this first. Let's make sure that's right side <laughs> right side out so let's we'll go ahead and and do that we can do that on camera so you can see that part and then obviously I will stitch over everything that I've done there let's wipe off the glue don't want extra glue on there okay We'll put that down. Okay, that's looking good. And this definitely has a right and a wrong side. So we will. Whoops, whoa, whoa, Nelly. <laughs> oh, man down. <laughs> or actually, trim down. <laughs> trim all over the floor. Let's go ahead and get that trimmed off. And then we will add this. Want to make sure we give this plenty of. Okay, so I think here. Okay. Well, this is just, this has been really fun. And I hope you guys are getting some ideas to help you, you know, to just really go for it. Get those, get those envelopes out. I'm sure you've got some of your own. If you don't, like I said, you can go to my shop, but I'm sure you can find some that you can repurpose and make beautiful. Just another form of art to go in in your journals okay so what I will do now um, do, 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 well I'll do that we'll do that on camera we'll get our Fabri-Tac now and we will just kind of start to put that down have to kind of go slow. I don't want to. Okay. And there again, you guys, if you don't have um, a sewing machine, you can achieve what you want. <laughs> okay, let's just be kind of careful. I know this is, this seems a little bit fiddly, and it is. 
not gonna lie, it's a little fiddly, <laughs> but well worth it, I think. Okay. Okie dokie, let's, let's trim this one down. Okay. All right. Oh, I think that is gorgeous. Oh, I love that. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to stitch around here. And then I will be back. Okay, I am really happy with this. Oh, I, I love it. I was trying to decide where to put my butterfly. And I'm thinking either here or here. But I'm kind of leaning more to here in the corner for some reason. I just... You know, you've got your threes. I, oh, this has turned out so fun. I love it. Okay, so what we want to do here is we want to give ourselves a little, um, pocket, if you will. Not a pocket, not a, uh, just a little, little dip. In so that we can know that this is the the front of a pocket okay that looks good and then we'll go ahead and we'll I wasn't gonna ink any of this was I <laughs> on camera sorry hey anyway okay so what I will do I will glue this on and I will stitch my edges and we will be done with this particular pocket. And I, I think it's, oh, I just think it's so cute. All right, let's get our Fabri-Tac for this. And I do want, just one sec, sorry for the reach. <laughs> apologize. I'm going to make sure I glue everything well because this part is not going to be stitched. Okay. I don't know if that helps, but supposedly, <laughs> oof, supposedly that is supposed to help. with putting your, you know, helping your glue to go back down in the bottle. Okay. Now the only thing that's bothering me, and this is a minor thing, and for you it may be a, a, a nothing, I don't know, but just depends on, you know, just depends. But, I know that uh, butterflies have antenna, and this has no antennas on it at this time, because obviously it's hard to cut around those fussy cut. So what I can do, depending on, I can try to stitch just a little black thread on there to give it some antenna or I could try to do it with a pen but I'm a little worried with all of these fabrics and textures how that might go so I think I will probably do the stitching a little bit a little black there to bring out the antenna and I will stitch my sides and then we'll I'll show you the the finished envelope. Okay, I have finished this sweet little pocket. And as you can see, I did add a little bit of thread 
to give my butterfly antenna. And I, I just, I think it's super cute. Super cute. This will be fun. So I think I'm going to call that good for this video, guys. I don't want to um, belabor it. Just to show you again some of the fun things that you can do with altering envelopes. And of course, this is the one that we did together. Thank you for joining me. I hope that you are having a wonderful day. I hope that uh, things are well with you and that you are blessed tremendously. Just remember, I love you guys. And until next video, have a fabulous day. Bye-bye now.